Animal Farm by George Orwell Animal Farm is an allegorical novel by George Orwell, published in 1945. According to Orwell, the book reflects events leading up to the Russian Revolution of 1917 and then on into the Stalin era in the Soviet Union. Orwell, a democratic socialist, was a critic of Stalin and Stalinism, an attitude that was critically shaped by his experiences during the Spanish Civil War. Summary of the novel Mr. Jones, a harsh man and drunken farmer, manages Manor Farm. The animals gather one day to hear Old Major, a wise old pig, speak. Old Major delivers a speech in which he urges animals to revolt against the farmers. A few days later, Old Major passes away. The most intelligent creatures of the farm, the pigs, begin plotting a revolt. Snowball and Napoleon are in charge. The animals revolt against Mr. Jones and takes over the farm three months later. The name of the farm is changed to Animal Farm. They agree that the farm will be now run by animals, a system they refer to as animalism. They decide to run the farm according to seven commandments, the most important of which is all animals are equal. The phrase four legs good, two legs bad becomes a popular ship song. Mr. Jones and his friends attack the farm in an attempt to reclaim it, but the animals drive them away. Mr. Jones flees. They never see him again. Snowball and Napoleon had a falling out because they have opposing viewpoints on how animal farms should be run. Napoleon disagrees with Snowball's ideas to build a windmill. Napoleon trains nine puppies into ferocious dogs. They will be his servants and plans to employ them to chase Snowball off the land once they are fully grown. He eventually seizes control of the farm and runs it alone as a dictator, while a pig named Squiller constantly persuades the animals that everything is okay and that they should support Napoleon. At the same time, Napoleon uses the dogs to kill any animal that does not agree with him. Napoleon reconsiders his position and chooses to construct a windmill claiming that it was his idea all along. The first windmill they built failed. Napoleon accuses Noble because he is snooping around Animal Farm and destroying everything. For being in contact with Snowball, many animals are murdered. Napoleon begins working with humans outside, despite the fact that this was previously forbidden. One of them is their next-door neighbor, Mr. Frederick, a farmer. He sends a group of men to the farm. They destroy the second windmill. In the battle of the windmill, the animals fight them off. Boxer, the stronger horse, loses his power due to old age and collapses as the animals were building the third windmill. Despite the fact that Boxer was faithful to Napoleon, he is sent to be killed. The pigs keep on cooperating with people and begin to adopt human characteristics such as living in farmhouse and walking on two legs. The sheep are thought a new song, for legs are good, two legs better. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others, replaces the previously set commandments. At the end of the novel, some animals observe the pigs conversing with a group of people and conclude that they cannot identify which is which. <laughs>